Yeah, uh, our next talk will be uh, given by uh, Professor Jean. Uh, I'm not sure I read the name correct. Uh, Vanatu Satus. Vanatu Satus. <laughs> The title is a counter example to a conduct of uh, knowledge and uh, Zivia. Please, yeah, share your screen and uh, you can begin. Uh, thank you. Uh, I want to thank the organizers by the, the invitation of to this talk. And I will show you a counter example to the conjecture of knowledge up there. And this is a, a joint work, or it's a fruit of a uh, very nice uh, conversation with Francisco Brown from Universidade Federal de São Carlos e, and with Luiz Renato Gonçalves Dias from here, the Universidade Federal de Uberlândia. Uh, well, since uh, our counterexample is a, is a very simple uh, map, I will expand uh, most of time talking about relation ideas, uh, ideas related to the conjecture of Nolan Xavier and its relation in particular, uh, its relation with the Jacobian conjecture and an additional, uh, some additional conditions that make the conjecture true, okay? Uh, and finally, I will show you our counterexample, okay? So let's just start to think uh, about some conditions that in R2 works very well uh, in the sense of um, uh, additional conditions to a local diffeomorphism be uh, globally injective, okay? And uh, I start with a, a very basic property that is a local diffeomorphism from R2 to R2. Be non injective implies that both F1 and F2 have disconnected levels. This is very simple. Uh, if you have two, two points with the same image by F, uh, so for example, if you suppose that the connected component of uh, the level A of F1, uh, you have the same connected component passing X2 and X1. So we will have a problem here because F2 have the same image here and here, that is B, and so, in this piece of, of line, F2 you have a, a local extreme, and in this local extreme, F lost the local injectivity. Yeah. So necessarily we need to to have distinct component con, uh, connected components passing this point. Uh, so with this this uh, simple remark, uh, we have a, a topological condition uh, to take the injectivity of F, yes? If the, the levels of F1 or F2 are connected, then F is injective. So to, to this talk, it's interesting to, to think in, in, in these conditions uh, in an equivalent way, that is uh, uh, the levels, all the levels of F1 uh, is the same of all the pre-images by the local diffeomorphism F of all vertical lines, yes? And analogously, uh, um, uh, the levels of F2 are the pre-images of horizontal lines, yes? So we have in R2 this, this good result that connectedness of pre-images by F of all vertical lines or all horizontal lines, then F is injective, okay? Well, uh, with a bit more work, uh, we, we can take by the non-injectivity 
of a local diffeomorphism in R2. Uh, uh, a bit more of structure on, on the levels. Yes, you can prove that, in fact, F1 and F2 have what's called inseparable levels that I put here, an example in bold. Okay, this level in bold here is an example of inseparable levels. Uh, the levels here, when it goes in this direction, the levels approximate uh, simultaneously of this side and this side, and they, they call it inseparable level. And with such a structure uh, in the 90s, uh, uh, was very explored uh, to, to, to bring up uh, uh, analytical conditions that prevent this kind of phenomena and so implies the injectivity. Yeah. For example, in, in 1993, Sabatini gave uh, an, an extension to Hadamard global inverse function theorem in the plane by using these, these results. The, he proved this result and give a, a, a condition, analytical condition that generalizes the, the Hadamard's one. Okay, but here uh, many analytical conditions was proved in this way uh, was given in, in the context of global injectivity in R two. I, I to this talk uh, I will uh, focus in, in, in the Palais Mayer condition. Yes. The Palais Mayer condition uh, was introduced by Palais Mayer in 1964, and I give here for our interest here, we give just two submissions, okay, giving a C1 submission from Rn to R. Uh, it satisfies Palais Mayer, or in short, PS condition. If you give in a sequence, Xn in the domain, so that the, the sequence goes to infinity and the image goes to a C on R, then there exists a epsilon, a positive epsilon, so that the, the norm of the gradient is greater than equal epsilon. That prevents that the, the gradient goes to zero yeah, in this kind of sequence. And for example, uh, Gutierrez, Jacques, Lib, Teixeira, uh, in this paper, Global Injectivity of C1 Maps of the Real Plane, Separable Levels, in the Palais Mayer Condition, proved that for a, for a C1 submission from R2 in R, uh, satisfying PS condition, uh, we have that H has no inseparable levels, uh, prevents the, that phenomenon, okay, and um, this gives the corollary on injectivity. Yes, if F1 or F2 satisfy PS condition, then F is injective. Okay, this is a, a good result on that works very well on R2. So let's to think now about um local diffeomorphies uh, between rn to rn uh for n greater than two so uh, i start with a, a remark that the 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 connectedness of the level sets of fi is not sufficient to to the injectivity of f uh we have a uh, a simple example here. This example is just z, z, z plus the complex exponential on the x, y plane. Uh, the Jacobian determinant is always distinct from zero, and so f is a local diffeomorphism. And it's not difficult to see that um, all the levels of f1, f2, and f3 are connected and in fact are simply connected okay 
In fact, all the levels, the levels, yes, are, are homeomorph uh, to planes. Yeah. So here, the the coordinate foliations, yes, uh, the foliations induced by levels of F1, F2, and F3, and F3 are very simple. Are in fact. Uh, 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 topologically uh, is, uh, are conjugated to to a trivial foliation, yeah, to to a plane Cartesian with a line, okay, and we have this to a non-injective local diffeomorphism between R three and R three. Yeah, uh, this example shows that the non-injectivity in R three to R3 for an analytical mapping implies nothing about the foliage, coordinate foliations, okay? Um, and about the, the, the analytical condition, uh, PS condition um, on FI uh, is not sufficient to the injectivity also. This accentual is because uh, for it FI, the third component of the gradient is one. So this prevents to goes to zero and naturally satisfies PS condition, okay? And this in, doesn't imply injectivity also, okay? So um, in, in a paper in, in 2002, uh, global inversion via the palaise mayer condition, Nolé, and Xavier proposed uh, and proved that if you ask that not only the components F1, Fn of the local diffeomorphism, but also all the linear combinations, uh, non-zero linear combinations of set components satisfies PS condition, then in fact F is bijective. Okay, and uh, we know that our our example shows that it's an, an not enough just this condition on the components. Okay, so we have more conditions here. Okay, um, uh, uh, I invite you to to think about some consequence, topological consequences of this this condition. Okay, uh, the first is that um, to think that pre-image of a fine hyperplanes of Rn by the local diffeomorphism F are in fact level level sets of this this kind of of function. Okay. Yes, this is a this is a, a basic remark okay in fact given a on a, a fine hyperplane it can be be expressed in, in, a, in a kind of this this equation and it's pretty much by f our points x in rn satisfying that th th this point satisfy this equation yeah and, and this equation is Exactly, the, the FA equal C. Uh, that means a level of C, okay? So um, let's to see that the, the PS condition, the PS condition on these, these functions uh, implies uh, good behavior of, of, of the levels of this, this function, okay? And so to good behavior uh, of the, the, the pre-image of affine hyperplanes, okay? Of Rn, yeah? And uh, here, uh, let's just see, for example, that PS C2 submissions from Rn to R implies that uh, the, the, the submission has connected levels, okay? Uh, I think that's, that there are some ways to, to, to see this, this property, okay? I, I present you 
one way, maybe maybe long uh, or stronger. I don't know, but okay. Uh, to 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 justify this, I will invoke uh, um, an paper of Habir from 1997 that he added Elsman vibrations and palaismaya conditions for morphism of fizzling manifold, fizzling manifold. And here I, I enunciate a, a theorem that is, that it, that is a, a particular case of the, the Javier ones, okay? That C2 submissions uh, from our N to R satisfying PS condition are in fact uh, locally trivial vibrations, okay, in the sense that given a, a, a C in the, in the counter domain, there exists a neighborhood V of this, this point, and the homeomorphism between the, the level Cartesian, the, the, the neighborhood, the level of C and Cartesian, with the pre-image of this neighborhood. And there is a homeomorphism that commutes this diagram where P2 represents the, the projection on V, okay? Uh, and by using Javier condition and um, classical globalization theorem that said that uh, a, a locally trivial vibration uh, is in fact a globally trivial vibration if the 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 counter domain is a contractible space. Okay, this can be found, for example, in the the the, the classical book of Steinhut, the topology the topology of fiber bundles, section eleven dot six. Okay, and so in our case, since R is contractible. Uh, we will have, in fact, a, a, a global or simple, uh, uh, simple talking uh, trivial vibration. Okay, and in this case, we will have here an homeomorphism between the the level of C for any C, okay, times or uh, product with R is homeomorphs to Rn, and in particular, this level uh, is, is connected, okay? And this, this explains the, the second property, and I, I, I talk about these things because um, with Professor Diaz, we, in this, in this paper, Vibrations and Global Injectivity, of local homeomorphism, we applied these these ideas uh, and other properties, good properties of vibrations, to um, to generalize it to to a, a, a topological context some node results on global injectivity. Uh, for example, um, uh, a, a condition in, in, in the paper of Silva and Teixeira, they, they present a, a, a kind of generaliz uh, generalized palaismation, palaismaia conditions. Um, and we prove that our results here uh, the, 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 the conditions, topological conditions that we give here are consequence of such conditions, general, uh, generalized palaisme conditions of this paper. Okay. And also um, some incompressibility conditions to global inversion given by Baureira. Uh, we, we prove that also these conditions implies our conditions. So our, our our contributions here was in the sense of to 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 see that um, 
these two vibration ha has good properties to think in, in, in global injectivity results né, of local homeomorphism that in fact is implied by knowed analytical conditions. Okay, just in a, a little advertisement for you. And okay, so um, uh, here I want to conclude that the, the, the these two properties, uh, with these two properties, you can see that the conditions given the theorem of Nolan uh, Xavier, yeah, uh, uh, bring us uh, 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 that pre image of all affine hyperplanes of Rn by F are connected. Okay, we have this, this topological information that is uh, implied by the conditions on theorem of Nolet Xavier. Okay, and uh, uh, it's a good question if this topological condition, yeah, the premise of all finite hyperplanes be connected implies or not the global injectivity of F. This is the conjecture of Nolan Xavier, okay, that they, they enunciate in, in this paper in, uh, in 2002, okay. Uh, well, uh, I give some motivations to, to this, to this question, but maybe uh, a stronger motivation is about uh, the Jacobian conjecture the, in the complex um, context, okay? Uh, if a, a polynomial local diffeomorphism is in fact a global diffeomorphism, yes? And uh, we know that uh, it's enough to prove the, the injectivity, the global injectivity of F, yes? The, the, the injectivity implies subjectivity and F minus one is polynomial is, is also proved if F is injective, okay? Uh, and in the same paper, Noller and Xavier uh, give the uh, Hassona uh, an argument that is the following that um, if F is a, a, a polynomial local diffeomorphism, then F is dominant and the dimension of its image is M. And so by a Joanna Luz Bertini type theorem that can be can be found found in the Joanna Luz book, theorem 6.6, um, with set conditions given L uh, a fine linear subspace of Cn with dimension, fixed dimension greater or equal to one, then uh, so, uh, the pre-image is an irreducible smooth subvariate of Cn, and in particular, uh, set pre-image is connected. And so, with this argument, Nolia and Xavier uh, concluded that the veracity of uh, its conject their conjecture implies the veracity of the Jacobian conjecture. Uh, it's, it's relevant to, to talk about this because uh, uh, as we will see uh, soon, uh, our counterexample is essentially analytical. And so um, uh, our example says nothing about Jacobian conjecture neither uh, about this way to think about Jacobian conjecture, okay? So it is, it, it, it remains true, this, this, this implication, okay? Um, and uh, 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 let, me, let me talk about some particular cases where the Jacobian the, the conjecture of Nolan Xavier uh, uh, is true, okay? We have seen in the beginning that in R2, it's, it's good, 
In fact, in a more general set, you, you just need to, to vertical lines and uh, horizontal lines with pre-image connected. Okay, it's enough. And we have uh, a result from Baureta in 2010 uh, in a paper, Foliations and Global Inversion, uh, where uh, Baureta consider not only connectedness, but simply connectedness of the pre-image of affine hyperplanes, okay? And it's interesting to, to note that by the same argument of proper two, we can conclude that the, the, the palaise mayor condition in the theorem of Nolet-Chavier implies the, the such simply connected also, okay? So, uh, Barrera takes the uh, information, topological information, uh, and um, proved the, the global injectivity of, of the local diffeomorphism, okay? And in fact, uh, he proved uh, a more general result that it don't need to, to, to take all the affine hyperplanes, but just a, a good family, okay? Um, okay, but uh, if we just ask uh, uh, connectedness, uh, the, 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 the conjecture of Nolet Xavier was open, was an open problem for any greater two. And finally, I, I show you uh, our counterexample that works for, for n greater or equal three in a trivial way, uh, I present for you in, in, in dimension three, okay? This, this, this map is given by Z5, Z3, and Z plus the, the complex exponential, and its Jacobian matrix is given by this, and so the Jacobian determinant is always distinct from zero, what implies that is in fact a local diffeomorphism, and it's easy to see that F in fact is non-injective, okay? So uh, it remains just to prove that uh, the connectedness of pre-images of planes, okay? This is a part more, more involved here. And, okay, let's see this. Uh, um, we remember that the pre-image of a plane like this is in fact the, the level surface given by, by the, the same combination uh, with the components of F, yes, equals D. And in this time, it's important to, to, to see that these, all the linear combinations here, um, uh, non-zero linear combinations here of these this components are in fact um, subdimensions, yes? Um, because F is a local diffeomorphism, okay? And so this equality here that characterizes uh, the pre-image of this plane uh, is, is in fact a, a regular surface in R3, a regular uh, submanifold of R3 of dimension two, okay? Um, well, let's to, to substitute here uh, our uh, components of our map um and separate the left side the the, the parts that depends on z it's a polynomial on z and here we have the exponential times a linear combination of cosine and sine of y and remember that this equality that characterizes the pre-image of the our hyperplane uh, or plane in this case Okay, 
and we need to to see that this 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 equality gives us a uh, um, um, connected surface in R3. Okay. Uh, to do this, uh, I think this polynomial called this polynomial by H Z and this this function here by G. Okay. And uh, we start to think about this equality in the case uh, uh, that A and B are zero. Okay, so we don't have this part. And on the right, we have zero. So you can, we can see that the, the preimage of the plane is in fact a plane. Okay, to always that A and B are zero. So let's to think about the, the the another case where a or b are distinct from zero. Okay. Uh, first remark is that uh, the 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 g function here has period two pi and has at least one zero in each interval of length two pi. And we order in the node set zeros uh, in this way, where uh, y zero is the first zero greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Uh, and about the the polynomial height, we we denote by z j the 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 real zeros of this polynomial. Okay. And depending on A, B, C, or D, we, we, this, this polynomial can, can take one, can have one, two, three, four, or five zeros. Okay, not necessarily simple. Okay. Um, so, well, uh, this equality needs to be satisfied, okay, to, to, X, Y, and Z be pertains in, in the, the preimage of the plane. Okay. So by this equality, uh, we, we call it an allowable coordinate. If in, in the Y, Z plane, okay. If the Y and Z are zeros, uh, Y is a zero of G and Z, J are is a zero of eight. Okay, so this is the first case of a lowable coordinate, and a second case is where uh, the sign of G and eight are the same, and that means that the product is positive. Uh, they are distinct from zero also. Okay, uh, and in both of these cases. The, we have we can have a solution for this equation. Okay, in, in the first case, uh, the equality is zero zero, and in the second case, uh, H and G having the same sign, we can uh, isolate it here x. Okay, and so here. Uh, uh, we give a, a, an example. Here we have an example of the function eight with in the zx and depending on the zx um, with one, two, three, four zeros, and z, z three is a double zero of this function. And here we have a, an example of the, the g function okay and so in the crosses of zeros we have here <clears throat> a zero of g with a zero of eight uh, this is a point that's a, a loable coordinate okay and in gray here we also have um um a little coordinate, for example, in this rectangle, 
um, eight is positive, and um, and also G is positive. Okay, so in this rectangle, we will have allowable coordinates. And what happened in the first case? Uh, when y and z are zeros uh, is that we have zero here, zero here for all x. So in such points that are crosses of zeros, this point times uh, x, uh, I, x in r, all r, uh, Will uh, uh, pertains to the to the pre-image of the plane. Okay, this is a, a key point here. And in, in, in inside the the allowable rectangles, uh, just one one x satisfies the the, the equality, and we have. In fact, a uh, surface here, uh, uh, and using the fact that uh, we have a regular surface here, this part in the allowable rectangles are uh, well connected with these these lines here. Okay, this line, this line. So necessarily we have connectedness from here and two here, okay? Because we have a, a regular surface in, in, in this case. Uh, and here we have a, um, a graph of a, an example of pre-image of a plane. Okay? And that that is, is connected. And this Final the, the 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 example and uh, uh, this is a um, this counterexample was uh, accepted in the proceedings of the American Mathematical Society, but until now it, it, it's it's available for members, and uh, I hope that it's uh, available for all soon. Okay, thank you for your attention. All right, thanks uh, to our speaker. Any any questions? Any question for Jane? Yes, uh, uh, thank you, Professor Jan. Uh, can you say uh, something about the points that are not proper in this map? Well, uh, I need to think about this, Philippe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need to think. And maybe we can think about it later then. Yeah, yeah. Have, have problem with the uh, no proper points, yeah, because uh, we have points that have uh, uh, the pre image of, of points are have. Um, an infinite mm -hmm. are infinite in fact yes and so 
you don't have many many structure here because the map is is analytical yes and uh, maybe can be phew, uh, I have a big. question. Very, very big. The, 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 okay. The, 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 the proper set here. I think that maybe dance. I don't know. I, I need to think with with, with uh, more time. Thank you. Okay. Please. Yeah, so I have a question. I didn't mean to interrupt the, the previous uh, person. Sorry about okay. that, Felipe. Um, is is this a sort of a generic condition? Um, in, in R2, you talk about like the, the inseparable lines, right? So the, the, the half refoliation kind of comes ripping through and separates the fringe of two lines. So here, where you have these holes, does it mean it's somewhat, uh, it's not a very generic condition? That is, if you perturb that hyperplane, you're still going to have uh, pre image of hyperplanes be hyperplanes with these big bumps. It is, it's, that is, that counterexample, it kind of is separating a pre image of two hyperplanes. Right, the, the hole that you, the, the, the gaps that you have that kind of are blowing up, are they the analog of the they have free foliations in R2. They're kind of just picking, creating those holes, right? Because I'm, I'm thinking about the, the in, in the result I had, you do need simply connected because you can't have those holes, but it's kind of tight, right? Uh, anyway, just I'm thinking it, how stable those conditions are, that, that counter example. Thank you. Oh, okay, thank you. Just a comment. They are they are very stable indeed. Um, you you can you can perturb um, a lot and 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 you, and you get the same the same the same image. You have you you get the same holes. I'm not sure now. I have to you have to think about that. But I think I'm not sure. But I think it is a different. Um, Behavior than the the half rip component uh, foliation, but I but I have to think about that better. I I will we can think about that, but but very very stable. You can perturb, and uh, you you do not break these these holes. The holes are breaking when you pass to the zeros. When, when you cross zeros of the function uh, h, the function g always has zeros for all the planes, but the function uh, h, uh, since it is a polynomial of degree of if of odd degree, it has at least one zero. But when it has one zero, you have a, a simply connected. Uh, mm -hmm. Hyperplane mm -hmm. without holes, mm -hmm. and when when you have, for instance, uh, something like uh, z to the power of five plus z to the power of three plus z for I think, so you have you ha you you will you will create holes, and this is stable because these holes will maintain if you if you if you perturb uh, ABC. Thank you. Any other questions? If not, let's uh, thank our speaker again. Thank you.